The future of business is here, and there's no turning back to just good enough. The global pandemic has sparked change and accelerated digital transformation in organizations across industries. Please welcome Mr. Filios Papastiliano, Strategy Director, HCM, ESMIA at Oracle. Thank you. So let me practice my Arabic. Masa Alger, Ana Esmi Filios Papastiliano. And obviously, with a last name like Papastiliano, you don't expect me to say any more Arabic. So I have a long Greek last name. I'm actually from Cyprus, so very close by to, to Jordan. And I remember yesterday, at the beginning, they mentioned that Jordan is a small country. I was laughing because my country is like 10 times smaller than Jordan's, maybe more. So yes, depends on the size, but Cyprus is really, really a small island. You know, yesterday and today, and I think the last six months, we've been hearing a lot how COVID affected our life. And what happened really in the last couple of, of years is that we felt the pressure to change. And we felt the pressure to change immediately. Let me get this. And the, the people, the individuals, and the companies who embraced the challenge to change, they came out better. And all the companies that we are dealing with and all the companies that we are working with, they had to go digital and they had to communicate with their customers and with their employees digitally. And digitalization affected our life on a personal level. You no, know, as I told you, I, I live in Cyprus. Uh, my parents are 80 years old. I mean, my father is 82, my mother is 78. If you ask her, she's going to say 75, but it's 78. So during the COVID, we shouldn't meet each other, you know, because the tolerance is very dangerous and should avoid to meet the older people. And for them, you know, we have a tradition every Sunday to have a lunch, the whole family together. So it, we introduced to my parents a, 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 to have a video calls with us. For them, the phone, they were using it with the traditional way that we are using the phone, you know, voice. So having, you know, on the table, you know, a tablet with us and them, you know, and having lunch together, it was amazing for them. It was something like a, a magic. So everybody, we had to engage in some kind of, of challenge, you know, to, to move to this modern way. Now, what we have seen also is that the changes that are happening in the world, they, are, they continue to exist. You know, we have challenges now maybe regarding uh, economic issues. We have challenges that they have to do with inflation. In Europe, unfortunately, we have a war. And lots and lots of issues, and lots of challenges, and lots of uncertainty. At the same time, the technology, ad technology advancements, they are huge, and they are coming to us faster and faster. So what we tell our customers as Oracle and our partners is that we want to enable them to unlock opportunities and adjust to any change that is coming. Because what we found out in the last two years is that nobody can predict what will happen in the next two years. But one thing is certain, there will be changes. And these changes, they will come to us faster and faster. And even if we have the feeling sometimes that we are going back to normality slowly, we know that we're never going to go back to the way that we used to be. You know, all this uh, 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 interruption that we have in supply chain, we need to take new measures in order to, bring, uh, to, to support the supply chain uh, uh, process. In addition, we talk about this great resignation, this uh, um, shortage of talent. Companies now, they find it very difficult and very challenging to find the right talents in the organization. And at the same time, they need to keep their existing talents in the company. So, and having this new workforce, this generation Z people, that they have more options when it comes to their career, not only locally, but globally, to get a job that can work even remotely. That makes it more difficult for companies in Jordan and I had a session yesterday that they was, I was reading it in the Moody website, 
that says that in Jordan, 48% of the employers, they find it difficult to find the right skills for their organization. So, in addition, this new technology that I mentioned before that is coming to us, is coming to the business. And it's allowing organizations and business like yours to fundamentally change their business processes and their business model. And of course, we live in this digital world now that all the, we have a digital customer service, digital sales, we have digital uh, communication with our customers, digital communication with our employees. So, going digital, how this can help us? Going doing this digital transformation, how it can help us as a, as a company? The obvious thing is that we'll accelerate our business processes and our operational processes. That means that tasks that we have to finish before in hours, now we can do them in minutes, even seconds, if we engage the advanced technology. But at the same time, we have all this data around us. Coin Digital will help us to collect the, all the data, but not only to have the data, but to give them a meaningful form to help us to make the right strategic decisions, to help us understand how our company is positioned in the market, how the employees see our company, how is our market share. And having all this information, it will help us also to gain more customers and at the same time to retain our existing customers by having this seamless uh, communication with them. And we hear a lot about this employee engagement. Going to digital transformation will help you to engage your employees using your, application, your applications and get more information about your people. You know, uh, our everyday life, as I'm 50 years old, and people that are 25 years old and 30 years old, we are using Messenger, we are using WhatsApp, we are using Viper. So you want to bring all these things into your application. So imagine to sit at a coffee shop and you take your uh, phone, you send a message through WhatsApp to your digital assistant and ask him how much, or ask her, how much vacation I have still left. And can you please set up three days off from January 12 to January 15, without even opening your application, without even completing any form, just like this. This is a new way of doing business. And during the, I don't know if the slides are changing. So during the, the last two years, we know that we are all, we are locked in our house. Okay, that's the one. So during the last two years, we are locked in our houses. But some people, some companies, they are working for us to support us. So there were people responsible to bring food to us at our house or to the retail stores. There are people that they, they were supporting us with the, our entertainment, sitting at home. There are companies that were doing toys for kids in order to entertain them while they were at home. In Oracle, we, have, we are working too at the same time, Try to bring a sustainable suite of products to support uh, the organizations with the most cost-effective way. So what we built, we built a, a complete suite of solutions, of applications, covering all the needs of organization, starting from the financial, covering all the needs that has to do with supply chain, with procurement, with sourcing, and then covering the needs of organization when it comes to human capital management, and of course, our sales automation supporting our CRM system, our uh, customers. In addition to this, and we mentioned many times that innovation and, uh, is very important. So we have embedded in these applications machine learning and artificial intelligence. The purpose is to give us, to support us in a more intelligent way with the right reports, how we can take the right strategic decisions for our organization. How should I open a new branch? What is going to be the profit for this? How much will it cost me if I introduce a new line of product? So be able to run this all what-if scenarios on a, with real data for the future to support us. At the same time, we said innovation is important. So we bring four times a year upgrades of this to support our customers. So anything that happens in the market, and we mentioned that changes are happening constantly, so any change that happen in four times a year, you will get a new upgrade. Saying that, these upgrades, these new solutions that we bring, 
we are focusing more from our customer. So 80% of what we are delivering comes from our request from our customers. So our customers are engaged with us to support us during the roadmap of our product. In addition, we offer trainings, etc., to support and, and make the, our customers understand what are the best practices in the market. Now, you can tell me, nice, but how is easy to do this digital transformation? And it's not easy, of course. And you need to think about it and work correctly for this. But there are different ways. And I'll give you some examples. You know, we are using our products in Oracle also, the whole complete suite. What we have done in Oracle, we decided not to go to the big bank to do the digital transformation for all the products. We decided to do it process by process. So we started first with the HR processes, and then we did the consolidation, then we followed with our financials, and then we end up with our sales automation. Some other companies, they decided to do it in a different way. HSBC and Orange, they said, no, I want to do the big bank. I want to introduce the complete suite in our in digital transformation, but I will do it region by region or country by country. So they started, some, some of them with Europe, and then they moved to Asia, and then they moved to the United States. Another example I will give you is FedEx. They decided to do it in a complete a mixture of both ways. So for the companies that have done some acquisitions, they said, okay, for these companies, we're going to do a big bang. But when we, they went to the mother company, they decided to do it by region by region or country by country. So FedEx started from Europe, they went to Asia, and then to America. So what Larry Ellison said, our big boss, our god in Oracle, let's say, he said, you have to act, and you have to act now for the digital transformation. So thank you very much for your time.